Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you. I can push in this uh, word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be just something I was pondering, thinking upon. And it was about uh, being authentically you. All right. That's going to be one of the greatest things that we're going to experience. All right. Uh, in the kingdom, once, it, once it's set up, is to be authentically you. You see? And what I mean by that is that in this uh, current captivity, in this current hellhole, a lot of times, you know, uh, we got to play this game just to get our daily bread. You know? Sometimes we got to smile when we don't feel like smiling. We got to talk to people we really don't feel like talking to. All right? Just to move the uh, ball forward and get what we need to get out of this uh, doomed society, man. And when the kingdom comes around, when our time comes around through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we get to be authentically us, man. All right? No if ands, or buts. You see? Because guess what? In that time, that's when righteousness will truly uh, reign. Because right now in this society, man, it's a reason uh, we don't vibe with society. There's a reason uh, uh, this society beat us down and we, and we feel such a way because it's outwardly wicked, right? And when you are drawn to the, the gospel, the light, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you can't help but to be contrary with this current uh, evil, wicked place, you see? But we have to hold on to the spirit, knowing that, hey, if we be of that number, speaking on the first go around, meaning the elect, uh, we're going to be able to participate and be uh, being authentically us. I'm going to grab the book of Col Col Colossians, chapter 3, verse 2. It says, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. So this is not really living, man. This is not uh, really living. Like I said, and the point I was thinking about, think about, thinking upon, was you can't be really authentically you, man. You just can't. We are in a very evil, wicked, decadent society, man. All right. So when we moving about the society, man, we got to be wise, man. We got to understand what certain things are. We are not in our kingdom. We can't uh, live the way we want to live. Our women are out of order. The food, the water, the air is polluted. And we got a psychopath uh, running the world. You saw Edom. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go into the book. Second Ezra 16 and 40 says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And in those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth, meaning that uh, when you go into that word pilgrim in the etymology, almost be as, uh, as strangers, wanderers. All right. Never fully being comfortable. And I'm speaking to the ones that sigh and cry for all the abominations uh, that they see pursuant to the scriptures. All right. We're not authentically us, man. All right, we have a, a form of being us, whether it's wearing the garments, all right, border of blue. You see, when we go and teach, right, we have a, uh, we have a, like I said, uh, on the outside, you know, oh, those are, those are Israelites, all right, those are the guys with funny wardrobes and fringes, right, but we can't always be that 24-7 in this society, man. All right? Sometimes I catch myself. <laughs> I might be taking talking to a Jake in the world. And the way that we speak with it amongst each other, you know, a calm, the water. You might say that to, you know, a Jake in the world. You have to catch yourself, man. All right? Because you're almost like Clark Kent uh, to a certain extent, man. All right? Just something as, as small as that. It's things that we, we do uh, and just to get through the society. And then with your parents or your family, 
that's, that's not into this that don't want to hear this right you can't always be authentically uh, you with them man because your spirit is what your spirit is drawn to to this light man right like a moth to a flame it doesn't want to be in this world man all right it wants uh, the kingdom to be established let's keep going let's go into the book of Micah 2 and 10 it says arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction and we understand that lock stock and barrel man all right this is a polluted wicked place and we know the judgment of what's to come of it so putting all your hopes your dreams your eggs in one basket so to speak as far as the longevity of this place we're not thinking like that Right. We know that this place uh, has prophecies to play out and that's going to take however long it's going to take. At the end of the day, our mind uh, is somewhere else, man. It does not love the society. It's not fighting for the society because we really can't be us. We really can't be comfortable. We really can't be authentically. Uh, you can't be authentically you in this society, man. All right. And that's going to be one of the best feelings in the kingdom. Uh, hey, it's just to be, to be us the way we should be, man. Right? To have the law, statutes, the commandments in us. Right? The whole world to know, uh, hey, it, it's no mystery. We're the Israelites. All right? Our power is going to be known all over the earth, all over the galaxy. You see? And, you know, it's not nothing that's going to be done in the shadows, so to speak, man. All right. The scripture talk about being uh, unknown, but well known. You know, it's not going to just be the world of the Israelites. No, this is going to be something much, much bigger than that, man. All right. This truth is going to encompass the earth. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go to. Isaiah 59 and 15 real quick. It says, Yea, true faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Right? And the Lord saw it, and, dis and it displeased him, and there were no judgment. Right? So you, when you depart from evil, you guess what? You make of yourself uh, a prey, man. That's why I say sometimes, you know, you can't always be authentically you in the society, man. You know? For whatever your situation is, you know, like I said, sometimes you got to be incognito, man. All right. You know, the uh, example of you know, Clark Kent and Superman, you know, but let's keep uh, let's keep going. Let's get the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse uh, 25. And this is what I'm speaking about. Hey, when that day comes, Second Ezra 6, 25, it says, whosoever remaineth from all these that. I have told thee, and you can go back and read the whole chapter of Second Ezra, Second Ezra is the sixth chapter, which is a very good chapter to get a uh, full understanding. But basically, it's a short synopsis, meaning uh, the certain judgments. So the Second Ezra 6 to 25, whosoever, whosoever remaineth from all these uh, that I have told thee shall escape, right, and see my salvation in the end of your world. Not our world, because this is not our world. This is uh, the heathens, the ones that love this world, that are attached to it, the two-thirds of Israel, right? This is the end of their world. Verse 26, And the man that I, re that I receive shall see it, who have not tasted death from birth. Didn't the Messiah make that same uh, comment in the gospel? Right? There be some standing before me that shall not taste death, so they'll see the Son of Man coming in great glory. And I'm reading this out of the Apocrypha. So, of course, the Apocrypha... In the Bible, it all lines up. It all matches up. You just have to have the understanding. You see? And this is when we can be authentically us, man. Because guess what? Uh, not really want to go all the way into uh, reincarnation. But this is really what that's talking about, man. All right? The guys that were basically uh, selected, elected from the foundation of the earth. Prophets, right? Teachers. Apostles, disciples, guess what? They're going to be here doing the work, entrenched in this thing right now. And they're going to go from this current life 
guess what? Into the kingdom. It says, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned to another meaning. For evil shall be put out, the seat shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Right? So, this is going to happen, man. That's going to be the best feeling when these things are instituted and actually uh, let to develop up on the earth, man. All right? When this happens, man, when this place goes down, when the elect are saved and the, and the nation is set up uh, once and for all, man. Uh, let's see if I got anything else. All right, let's end it in uh, Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, for we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And we just read about what we seek to come, which is that salvation, right? Which is the uh, the return of Yahweh Shai and the, and the taking of the nation of Israel, right? And setting them up to be what? To be the top dog, <laughs> hey, the top rung of the ladder, all right, on the planet Earth once again, man. All right. The kingdom of Israel uh, uh, ruling once again, you see, and that's when we can actually be authentically us, man. We can actually re relax, enjoy because you see these heathens uh, relaxing, enjoying, doing them hey, all day long, man, all day long. And then you have J uh, Jake, man, who doesn't understand who's trying to copy him, man. But doing it in a lesser uh, extent, right? Doing it with uh, the black culture, which they were given, which that's not even even us, right? Because there's no pushback against that. But there's pushback against what? Hey, these laws, statutes, and commandments. Calling yourself, uh, uh, you know, by your tribes, right? There's pushback against it because guess what? That's That's your authentic self, man. And you being your authentic self is what? A threat to this wicked, hateful, slanderous society. All right? But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.